batch renders. Batch renders are basically rendering a lot of images without having to click render or stop. That means I can render 10 images without clicking render or stop each time I want to render a new image. So basically you just set it up, put all the camera views you want to render once and then put the settings for those cameras and then you hit render once. Okay. And everything will render and save out for you. Okay. You don't have to always click render and stop and wait for it to denoise and then save each time you want to render each view provided that you have set up all your views very well all right this is very helpful when you want to sleep while rendering okay so to set this thing up there are two things i want us to have in mind the first one is output size that's aspect ratio and the output size the second one is progressive rendering limits okay let me start with the first one so first of all for you to bring out your batch render settings okay all you have to do is go to rendering this rendering tab here click on it come down here you're going to see batch render so you click it when you click it this dialog box is going to come out you can make it big you can make it small all right so the first thing you want to do here is to add a view now this view you can rename it here but i have never seen the reason why i will have to rename it, it doesn't really matter okay call it camera 01 whatever i want to call it okay and when i do that you find that the camera view is going to be renamed up here all right now let's talk about the first thing i said we're going to talk now if you want to render like say you want to render like 10 camera shots and all of them are the same aspect ratio what i mean by what i mean by all of them are the same aspect ratio is that all of them are say um full hd okay that's 1920 by 1080 you don't need to mess with these settings over here you just leave it as okay you just leave it as, as it is it is even grayed out if you want to adjust this setting for this camera view okay let's say we have this one this one is not this one is not um full hd i will have it as say um three is to four aspect ratio okay what we are going to do is come over here okay click on this override preset now i can impute whatever aspect ratio that you have for that camera view in here okay so basically what you're going to do is come here you copy what you have here okay for this particular camera shot that is different from others all right and then you put it in here the width and the height now if you are doing animation you can set where you want the animation to start and where you want it to that's the start frame and end frame if not just leave it zero zero if you're not doing animation okay now this pixel uh, um this pixel aspect i've never used it before i don't even touch it so i leave it at one it works all the time all right so this output part this is where you set where you want your render to save to okay you put the name this is where you put the name down the image that you are going to export at the end of the day is going to carry and then you set the format that you want it to have and then override the gamma okay i always use 2.2 and then you hit save okay and then you say okay now after doing this you select the camera you want this particular view to render okay you know we added a view here now you have to select the camera you want to come out in this view so you click on this drop down and you select let's say i want to render camera five now I've put it in so when this thing will render at the end of the day it's going to export it as camera one even though i put camera five inside as a camera to render okay so all these other one you can leave as is but if you have if you have a render setup okay that you already used to render like preset that you saved that you always load you can always select this preset or you load a preset that you have saved out that is a render preset i don't use preset i always create my scene from the scratch as i go basically that is what you do here but you remember i said is there's two things involved if we leave this thing like this and hit render one camera shot is going to render forever okay if you have ever rendered any you know view in corona you find out that it keeps rendering and rendering and rendering and rendering and rendering till you stop it when you are satisfied with the noise level okay for us to prevent this from happening let's say i add additional camera i will have like four cameras with different views let's say i add like three i add like three views like this and then we'll have different cameras for these views and we decide to render them if we don't set this 
thing in here that has a progressive rendering limit this is going to render one of the this camera one is going to render forever and then you sleep and wake up just to find out that the batch render you said before going to sleep is still rendering the first camera okay so for, to stop this thing from happening you can either use pass limits pass limits gives you the ability to set the number of passes you want for your scene to render before stopping that particular view rendering and going on to the next view which is view two okay so you can set time limit you can say okay i have like eight hours to sleep i want these these all these views to be rendered in eight hours no matter the noise level and all those things so you set your time in time limit you put how many hours you want for each render how many minutes you want for each render, and, and how many seconds okay i don't recommend these two that i just mentioned the one i recommend is a noise level limit okay everything below five percent is okay okay so you can come here and say okay do it for me at 4.5 percent so when the noise level this noise the noise level is this here the noise level when it gets down to 4.5 percent it stops that particular render and then a new render keeps up okay so when you finish setting this thing just come over here and put 4.5 and that's all okay make sure that your denizer is active and then you don't need to set anything here because i remember i overrode it in here okay as you can see but if not i could have just left it like that and then set my camera you know camera views so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly set up these camera views here i'm not going to rename them. i'm just going to set the camera that i want for each one and then set the location that i want it to export to. okay Okay, so I'm done setting up the camera. I want to reduce this in so that it, it will quickly render. There's something I want to show you at the end of each render that you need to do. Okay, it's not it's not a big deal. Okay, this tutorial is basically over. You can stop watching this now. You can figure others out later. But if you want to find out what it is, keep watching. So I'm just going to come here. I want to quickly change this thing to something smaller. This is, um, let me just make it 800. It doesn't really matter. It's for illustrative purposes only. So I'm going to stop this. And now that I'm done, if you click render from here, it is going to render only this view. So you have to come over here and click render from here. So that way, it is going to render all this view. So I'm going to type in this. All right, I'm going to type in 800. And over here, I'm going to type in 600. 608. All right. Okay, when you look here, you see the resolution, everything is what it's supposed to be now. So I'm going to hit render from here, not from here, not from here, from here. So when I hit that render, it will start rendering the first camera shot, like so. And as you can see, the render is coming out. Now, you will see that I have a noise level target, and the noise level target is in bracket set to 4.5 when this one that is, is showing unknown now the numbers are going to start showing soon enough so when it starts showing and it gets to 4.5 it is going to stop this render and kick into the next render okay i think I, we have like um we set up like okay we have four renders that are going to render in this shot so when this one is done it is going to you know start a new one mind you I, this is for illustrative purposes only which is why i set it to 800 by 608 okay i don't recommend re rendering in this aspect ratio at all okay maybe for 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 test rendering but not for the final production render All right, so you find out that this particular image is done. All right, and when you look up here, you're gonna see the denoising. The denoising is taking place now. Okay, the time for the denoising started reading. 
and when it is done it is going to save it out for us you can see the time for the the noise has reset and everything is reset okay the noise level everything has gone back to its initial stage and now it is going to switch to the next camera shot that it is so now i'm busy sleeping but my render is rendering out now let's go to where the file is saved that there's something i want to tell you there's something i want to show you so go to document this is where i saved my render output when you come here you're going to see the render now if you have light mix okay if let's say you have like the sun sunlight means you have different kinds of light light mix and then you have render elements all those images are going to save out here you're going to see the sunlight mix what the image look like when you turn only the sunlight mix out what the image will look like for different you know light mixes that you have right likewise when you have render element it is going to render those ones out too just like this now if you don't need them you can come over to the folder where you save them and then delete all of them and leave only your camera okay this is the camera shot that i rendered out just now okay others are going to enter here as well but for this particular job i did not have light mix okay when i come down here to light mix you're going to see i don't have any light mix. likewise i don't have any okay render channel or render pass in this particular render so it is just going to give me something just that one image all right so um that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed please subscribe all right not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial i drop helpful videos like this twice every week okay and turn on notifications so you get notified when i do drop them thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one